Uh, it was revealed yesterday that more than half a million British children aren't vaccinated against measles. Now, this is, comes amid reports that uh, cases of the, the disease have nearly quadrupled. Now, Health Secretary Matt Hancock has said that he won't rule out banning children who aren't vaccinated from schools. Now, obviously, this is a, a move that he sees could help prevent the, the spread of infection, but it's quite a controversial one. Well, it is. I mean, there is obviously concern amongst the medical and scientific community about this. I mean, I think in vaccina vaccination rates, they feel, need to be at 95% to give you herd immunity so that uh, you have protection for everyone. So they have to keep up that level. Mm. And at the moment, um, in England, they're 91%. They're higher in Scotland, interestingly, um, and 87% receiving the second vaccination before the fifth birthday. Yeah. So they are concerned about this. Um, the World Health Organization has said the anti-vaccine movement is one of the top global health threats for 2019 and UNICEF has also said that they're really concerned so mm. that's the scientific lobby personally I go with the science you know and so for me I think it is important that people do get vaccinated I appreciate that some people don't want that choice mm. in terms of banning people going into school I think it's it's always a failure if you have to ban people because then they feel more isolated and more defensive. I think you have to be able to persuade people with facts. Um, and if you can't persuade people with facts, then you do run into a difficult situation. I think if we get to a stage that the health secretary has to ban children from going into school, we have failed in some way. So mm. that's what I would say. But I support the science. But it, it's, I mean, you use, you, you use the, uh, the term, obviously, it's about protecting the herd, if you like. Herd so it's immunity. For, yeah, so it's for, Does the, that mean for the greater that if you, good. If you reach those numbers, then nobody gets it. That's, yeah, that's what they feel. I mean, the, the rates of... Not uh, that nobody gets it, but yeah. it's contained. The yeah, yeah it contains and controls contained. measles. And they are very concerned about the spread in, in measles. I think uh, the incidence of measles worldwide in the last year has gone up mm. 300%. Mm. What, what do you think? Because obviously your kids are well, in school, so it's not necessarily... I don't think that you should ban any children from school. I think it's still, at this time, it's still legal to make your own decision mm -hmm. about your child, whatever that, whatever that might be. So I'm, I'm like Kay, I'm wary of banning... Yeah, it, um, banning any sort of school situation. I don't know, it feels well, like somehow the, it, that's well, it, your right to take it away as a parent. Yeah, it, it turns the decision into the state's decision because they're saying mm. you can't send your child to a school unless you have this vaccination. So, basically, you've got to have it. So, it's not like, you know, it's compulsory, but they're trying to make yeah. it compulsory but by the saying problem, this. But they do that and with other things. It can't be the that's state's that's decision. It has to be well, the parents' decision. I mean, decision. when you see the state, you know, it always gets that kind of big brother thing. I mean, this is the advice of the World Health Organization and UNICEF and the Chief Medical Officer of England, you know, Professor Dame Sally uh, Davis. People have many calls... reasons why they don't want yes, to yes, give I know. their children Yeah, I know, and I guess that's what it comes have down the choice. to. Whether you go with the science, with mm -hmm. the medical and scientific community and, and their educated opinions, or whether you want to, to break but free, you know, that this, is people's could choice. There be loads of, but could that be a slippery slope where there could be other things that they decide that your children should have? I mean, some people like to go abroad really for busy. different treatments and some people, mm. as we know in other stories, have been stopped for doing that and then all sorts of things happen. I mean, I think my worry is if, you're, if, you, if you're, your parental rights to make that decision are taken away, and they are effectively, if you mm. want your child to be educated at school, I just think that to me is a bit scary. I mean, you've just said that yourself. That they're yes, I know, but then what you're going to run into... They're going to make a legal is obligation. I have a right to have my child protected. I have a right for my child to go to school mm. uh, without the fear of of contracting measles. So if you're or anyone else's right to not vaccinate a child and send them to school mm. bumps up against my right to have my child protected, then we have a problem. Yeah, yeah. You're you're thinking, you're we're right. we're, we're going to have to leave it there. We are going to have to leave it there. We're going to have to leave it there. You are. You are. My first statement was, I think, if we ban things, then we failed. But yeah. I am saying we will get to a point but that you moment, have... But at the moment, it's everybody's right to make the decision.